Hi, today we're gonna to be talking about ancient memorization techniques. So back in the day, before everything was being written down, all the ancient storytellers would recite their stories orally. And some of those stories were very, very long. And if you take the Odyssey, for example, it's over 12,000 lines. And each one of those had to be done by memory. So did the Greeks just have better memory than we do today? Well, probably not. What they did have was very important methods and techniques that enabled them to remember elaborate pieces of information. So this would be very helpful for us still today when it comes to things like tests, uh, oration, or even, and maybe just as importantly, staving off uh, age-related memory loss. So let's talk about how this happened. So the story goes, as told by Cicero, that there was once this lyric poet who had been called to a banquet in order to recite his lyric poetry. Um, after doing his recitation, he was called outside. But unfortunately, at this time, the entire banquet roof collapsed, killing everybody inside and mangling them beyond recognition. Uh, unfortunately, this made identifying the bodies very difficult, uh, and which was necessary to give them proper burials, which was something very important back then. So, the lyric poet had to come up with a way to figure out who was who. And he did this by remembering where everybody sat at the table. Um, and this made him realize that he could remember just about anything if he associated it with a physical, visual location and this became known as the method of Lucky, or the memory palace. So how does this method work? Well, it's actually quite simple. You have to think of a, of a journey and a, a clear beginning and ending spot. Now this can be in any physical location. It can be a house, it can be a city, it can be a street, anything that you know really, really well. But let's take for an example your house. Now what you do is you go into each room and you identify a very large piece of furniture or decoration, something that really stands out, and you associate one piece of information that you're supposed to remember with that object. And you really should only have one per room, but you can add to this with sounds or smells. And so you go through each individual room and you assign something to remember. The method of Lucky was very popular in the ancient world and was actually used quite often up until the 17th century. However, modern research has shown that it is an extremely effective way to remember even today. So how about you try a simple activity? You can write down your shopping list, for instance, and, and you know, take it back up if you like. But instead of trying to consult it, Practice doing this technique and see if you can remember every single item on your shopping list by using the method of locking. Um, let me know how it goes.